and welcome to this edition of Tools I Love Trello for Project Management. I am going to introduce you the basics of using the Trello software for my project management system, as well as go over different understandings of integration and collaboration that can be used within the Trello management software. Now, this is just the basics. I don't get into how to incorporate your Google Calendar and do all of the detailed things, but it will give you a good idea of how I set up my workflow so I can track projects that I am working on with my current clients. Ready to dive in? Let's fire it up. To begin, I do want to clarify that I have two different systems that I use in order to implement my workflows successfully. One is my client management system, and that's when I get a new order, I'm able to open it up and take all that information and details and then put it into my Dubsado client management system. This allows me to check for invoicing, tax, go back for shipping addresses, and all the details behind the scenes for my client orders. But once I do get my client orders, I head on over to www.trello.com and Trello is a free organizational tool for any business or any aspect of your life. Trello allows us to create different boards that basically act as an organizational tool for different components within your business. And this is how I use my workflows. But as you can see, I have different boards named different things that I'm able to use throughout my business entirely. So first I have my project ideas, and this is a board that I have categorized by season. If I think of something um, Christmassy in April, then I can just go to this board and put it in there. So when Christmas rolls around, I can think, oh yeah, I'm able to now create that project. So it houses all of my project ideas that I have along the way. My custom clients are what is what I'm really going to dive into, and it takes you through all of my custom client orders from the beginning to end, and how I use that coinciding with my Dubs Auto client management system. My business week is exactly what it says. It's my week in business, and it is basically like a digital planner for me. And this I actually use hand in hand over here with my goal setting and strategy board. The goal setting and strategy board is broken down into quarterly goals that I can then further divide into monthly and weekly and daily. Um, so I know that I can continuously move forward into working with my goals. The other board I'm going to take a minute to show you guys is a gold mine for me. And that is my business blueprint. Anything about my business copy affiliate links is housed right here. So when people ask for them, I do not have to go on a frantic search to try and find them. So first up, custom clients and my custom client workflow. This is my board right here. And each one of these sections houses what's called cards. And in each card, I was able to create different titles for whether it is a client order, whether it's for a storefront that I'm in or a show that I'll be attending, and of course, personal projects, because we always have those as well. So my workflow looks like this. I enter my client into my client management system in Dubsado. Once I make sure that they are paid, I then go ahead and create my mock-up. My mock-up then, like you can see this one right here, doesn't have a picture attached to it. I take a screenshot of my picture to then give it a cover image to let me know that I created that mock-up and it's ready for client approval. So right here is the jobs pending. This means that I sent that client an approval for their project. Over here, it means that they agreed to the mock-up and it's ready to go and to be put into production. At this point as well, I send them any outstanding balances that they might have before I proceed to completing the final project. The file prep is basically taking that file and making sure it's okay for my laser and any other tools that I'm going to be using. I often use the Adobe Suite and Adobe Illustrator to create my files as well as drawing in Procreate. So a lot of those need converted into the correct format so that I'm able to go ahead and get started and move forward with that project. Materials and cutting, it gather all the materials necessary, whether it's wood, paint, stains, glue, things like that. Once I have all that done and it's ready to go, 
Um, sometimes these two can go back and forth. Sometimes I stain and paint first and then I cut. Sometimes I cut first and then I hand paint and uh, stain afterwards. So I'll just drag the cards over here and I'll show you an example in a minute. After that, assembly and framing. Um, from the very beginning, there's a little checkbox that I will mark if I need a frame made for it, and either myself or my husband will go ahead and make the frame while everything else is going along in the workflow. Um, assembly also means any kind of glue up, any kind of, um, you know, putting together of that final project. My reminder to take pictures before I ship the package goes right over here. And then if it's ready to be shipped or picked up, I'll add that over here and then my project completed. Um, once the project is completed, it will go over here into this column um, and I can let them know that they are ready to come pick it up because all the pictures have been taken and everything else has been completed along the way. I do keep then, um, I'll move this card over into an archive that will tell me that I am done with that project and um, it also allows me to go back to think, oh, did I share that project on social media? What did I do? Um, did, you know, I talk about it? Did I get more information? Um, this actually, I'm able to move these cards by clicking in that corner and I'll show you more about that in a minute, but I can move that and I actually created a social media board for me to be able to start making sure that I schedule my finished pieces onto social media. And I created a, one more card that says add to Shopify. While most of these are custom orders, not all of them are. So I'm able to add them to Shopify once I'm done, if it's something that I want to continue to sell. So just to go back to and show you an example, uh, the beginning of my workflow, I am going to come over here to the project pending and entered in Dubsado. I recently got a client order. So I'm going to click add card and I am going to put her initials as well as the name of the project. Okay, so here it is, that's my card. It has her initials, Nathaniel Nursery sign, and then any descriptions in here. She wanted me to make a 22 inch wood nursery sign all stain or wood variances, no paint colors. She liked the engraved look and three-dimensional. And, oh, she wanted me to include a wolf and a bear somewhere. So there's my description. Now, at any given time, I can go to my client management system in Dubsado and look this up and just double check the technical information about the client if I have to. So my client management system in Dubsado is for the client information. I use Trello for my um, project information. I'm just going to save that for the description. And then this becomes like a file, a digital file about my project. I could add members if I have other people a part of my work team, but as of now, um, my husband is technology, uh, well, he's lacking in technology, I guess so you can say. So I don't have anyone added here. I can give it a different label if I wanna put like custom client order. Um, some of them I put, here's one that requires shipping, so make sure I allow enough shipping time. Here's a holiday order, or if there's an inquiry, just so I don't forget to follow up with them. I don't have one for customs, but you get the point. Checklist. You can create different checklists, um, and that's the neat part too. So here's a lot of clients that I created checklists for individually, which I typically do, but if you have a custom um, piece and you need to make sure you have certain materials, I usually create a checklist for that. So um, title, I'll just leave it called checklist and click add. Um, first, I need to make sure I have order wood, um, order glue, send mock up. So, I mean, I'm just putting these in here to show an example. Dates, uh, let's say she ordered it today. I usually take about three to four weeks for custom orders. So we'll just say October 17th. 
I want a reminder probably two days beforehand that it needs to be done. And now I have an alarm set to make sure that I stay on track of this project. Okay. Um, I don't put any attachments on here typically, but you can attach files if you would need to do that. And cover means cover image, which I only do after I create the mock-up. For activity, when I get into my busy seasons, I make notes to myself just so I don't lose track of the projects along the way. So I can put down that I emailed client copy of draft and I can put save and then it'll have, it'll, it says just now, obviously right now, but it'll be time stamped then. This is when I added the comment. So that's also the moment that I completed that tasks, um, that task. Okay. So this is how I typically create my cards. And this one, like I said, is where did I put this one? Um, I'm going to put down that it's pending in Dubs Auto. Now I'm over here. Oops. Client orders. Um, AT Nathaniel Lee nursery sign. I do not have an image like this one does. So I want to make sure that I create that mock-up and not seeing that image tells me, Hey, that mock-up is not done. So you need to get on that. Luckily I did complete the mock-up. So I am just going to open that card back up. I'll open my Lightburn software where I created the mock-up for this. And I just take a screenshot of it. I'll head back to Trello and all I do is drag and drop. It'll upload my mock-up there. I'll have that created. I actually also sent an email, um, the copy of the draft today. So I'm going to leave that information there and I'm waiting to hear back from her if that looks okay. On my mock-up, I just made the notes, what needs to be engraved, the different woods that I use, um, and the thicknesses of each wood that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to just drag and drop and move it along the way. I am currently waiting for this to be approved by the client. Once it's confirmed, I'll put it over here. And that tells me that it's ready to go and I need to get on it. Um, once she says yes, I'll make sure everything is prepped completely. So that for me would mean separating all my layers in my files and uh, making sure this is where I go to my checklist to make sure, okay, it's approved. So now I need to make sure I have everything I need to complete this project. And then I'll close it out. Um, and then I'll just keep dragging and dropping along the way. Time to cut it, time to stain and paint. And I'll send it on down the line. Now you can click in the upper right hand box and move it this way as well, but it's just so much easier for me to just drag and drop. And I'm sure that it would be for you too, except when you want to actually move it to a different board. And this in the beginning is where I said that I use the planner and the goal setting boards hand in hand, because I could move this right to my social media prompts. And, um, at the, I said a little bit ago that, you know, I moved a lot of those images from my archive to a social media planner. This is where I meant that I moved it. So all those boards I showed you on that home screen are listed right here. So if I go to take this card, click off of it, and I make it all the way down the line to my archive here, um, I don't want to take it to Shopify, then I am ready to move it to my social media board. And then I know that I need to schedule that to social media. So I don't forget to share it. Okay. These little pictures right here, I just created in Canva as a, like a mailing label that doesn't come with it. You don't have to do it, but it helps it pop a little bit more for me when I can see those different sections. Um, uh, aside from that, um, I didn't mention this last column here, rejected or canceled orders. Hopefully that doesn't get used too much, but I do keep file of anyone who does decide, no, I don't want to move forward or, oh, I'm going to go in a different direction. Oftentimes with canceled events or weddings, that could often be the case, but that's where that would go. Um, so that is my basic workflow for client management and for um, their client product, product orders, I should say. And again, it just keeps everything nice and organized for me as I move them down the line. And as I communicate with them, it's like a one-stop shop for that file on a certain client order. It keeps it handy. It's just, 
as simple as pulling up a profile on that specific project. And the nice thing is too, because you can archive and because you can constantly just move these items around a year from now or two years from now, if someone says, oh, I saw that sign, I really like it. Then you can just pull up this card and have all of the details right there from what you did and when you did it and what materials you used and make any further details once you finalize your project. Additionally, once you get the hang of it, then you can also create shortcuts. And by shortcuts, I mean cards that are already existing in Trello that you just need to copy. So sometimes when I go ahead and get a new order, I will just have a copy of this pre-made card. And I would go over here to the pen, click copy, type in the client name, and create card. Now when I do that, I can click sample, which would obviously be the client's name, and it'll have what current list this is currently in. I can edit the description, and I already have built into that card checklists. Did I enter this client in my client management system? Did I create a task for Ben if necessary? Is there anything that he needs to do? Um, that I did in Dubsado, but I could easily do in Trello if he wanted to learn how to use it. And did I get all the files that I needed received from the client? So that's my pre-job checklist, my materials needed. I can just add the items here. And do I need to purchase anything if I do not have it on hand? I can just add the items here. So this is a pre-made card that I keep in Trello at all times for me to be able to easily copy and move this one along the same project timeline. So there you have it. That is my project management system. Now, I could take Trello out as the middleman and use Dubsado as my client management system for everything, including workflows. But as an artist, I'm a visual person and I love being able to see my timeline and exactly where I'm at with a project in that specific timeline. The added bonuses of being able to have a digital file or card essentially on every project that I could go back to at any time to reference is also a huge perk. So I really enjoy using Trello. I also have a paper and pencil planner as well. So I have stuff in multiple locations just to keep my brain organized because I need to see it in multiple places in order to stay functioning. But Trello is my go-to for project management and I hope to dive a little bit more into Trello and other features that I use as well. And if you think that I've been helpful to you, there's many different ways that you can help support me and my small business as well. First, you can head on over to YouTube and go to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe to see updated videos, tutorials, laser hacks, and business hacks. You can also find me on social media, all the platforms at Script and Grain for my latest updates and tutorials. And of course, if you think you love Trello too, I would love if you use the Trello affiliate link that you see on your screen. As always, if you have any questions, reach out. I'd love to chat and see how I can help. Thanks for watching.